Hey, I was waiting to talk to you. I want to talk about grief. And grief is deep sorrow, annoyance, trouble. And grief comes in a lot of different ways. It could be from a divorce. It can be from um, unresolved relationships with our children, trouble financially, health issues. Yes, the death of a loved one family member, friend, and it's all grief. And I am not here to say that the grief of this situation is more intense than another. I think that's unfair because when you're in that grief, that is what is most intense. The person next to me could be grieving one thing and I'm grieving something else. I cannot say if my grief is more painful than theirs, but what I can do I can sit with them in the space of their grief and acknowledge it and validate them and just be with them on that journey. And so in that concept, as it relates to grief, and I'll go on to this part of a spouse or a partner, there is oftentimes that I think from talking to people from my own experience that we as the person or spouse or partner that remains will somehow grade, assess, measure our grief for our deceased loved one by our sadness. Sometimes we may do that and say, if I'm no longer sad, if I am learning to function in a world that I still remain in, if I have learned to explore passions and things that I love doing, my daughter and I brought roller skates. I did not know how much I enjoyed roller skating. My sister and I purchased bikes. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed riding a bike. I have gone into reading more. In this journey of grief, I want to encourage you to not measure your love for the person that died based on your sorrow. I actually want you to consider giving yourself permission to be happy in the life that you have, the purpose for your existence. Yes, say their name as much as you want. I'm not saying stop talking about them. I'm not saying forget them. I'm saying embrace the life that you have and measure your joy by the life that you are creating. Literally, I am doing Widowhood Real Talk with Tina to honor my late husband because I love him and I want to say Mark's name as much as I want. 32 years of my life, my life was with this man that I love now. And the question is, have I got remarried? I have, but that doesn't mean I don't love Mark. It doesn't mean I don't have, I want to say his name. And when I look at my children, that I think of him and his absence in different events of their life, but I have continued to live and my joy is in the life that I am learning to create. And that comes in so many different ways. Books that I've read, places that I have traveled, people that I have met like you along this journey that have changed the direction of my life. And I am grateful for the life that I have. And I invite you in this Wednesday Widowhood tip to consider the life that you have. Is it hard continually to live in the absence of the person that you love, 100%. But is it possible? It is. And I invite you to consider that and think of the things that you enjoy. What is your why? What are the things that give you peace? And start doing some of those a little at a time. Let me know the things that are your why. And let me know also the struggles that you have in trying to continue living in the absence of the person that you love. But you are alive and I invite you to live. Let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.